Welcome to another edition of Brit in Poland. So now we face the changing weather. The winds are getting up, the leaves are falling. And life is going to become a little bit calmer in Poland compared to the nice warm summers. Or in this year's case, terrible rain and thunder. But Poland becomes a very beautiful place at this time of year. And it's always lovely to walk through the various parks, see the, the golden hues of the different leaves, and just relax. But today, we're to talk a little bit about tradition. So, Poland isn't really known for Halloween celebrations. I think it's fair to say that gradually, with time, uh, Halloween is becoming a bit more of, uh, you know, the, the known thing as per the West. But for, for many, it's actually seen um, as disrespectful uh, to the traditional Polish way of life. Now, the reason for this is at this time of year, there is a specific celebration uh, for All Saints Day, um, also known as Wyszczkik, uh, Świętczyk, or Jen Zemawicz. Uh, and what do we see? So, if you go to, if you're wandering around Warsaw, as I was uh, on November 1st, we have a bank holiday. Um, many of the, the roads uh, get closed uh, by the cemeteries. You'll see a lot of extra buses running. You'll see stands selling food, flowers, candles. And you'll see a lot of people. And basically what is going on here is, you know, the, the, the celebration uh, for All Saints Day. So leading up uh, to the, the day, people will basically go to clean the graves. A messy or neglected grave was seen as a bit of a shame uh, for the family of the deceased. Uh, on the day itself, people will often have traveled uh, home uh, to their kind of family uh, graves uh, to lay flowers, uh, to place candles on the graves, and basically to honour the dead. But where does this uh, tradition comes fr come from? So I did a little bit of research to, to work out exactly what's going on. And basically... Traditionally, you know, um, All Saints Day or All Souls Day, uh, November 2nd, is pre uh, predominantly a Roman Catholic ceremony, which dates back to the 4th century. However, Poland differs a bit, because actually the roots go back to an ancient Slavic feast called Giadi, or uh, Forefathers, so... Actually, there are, you know, ancient pagan roots um, in this sort of celebration. And the, the belief, very similar to, um, say, you know, the Day of the Dead in, in Mexico, is that the, the souls of the forefathers would come back uh, to visit their families on this day. And... Then it became uh, the job uh, of the families to, you know, make sure that the souls knew where they were going. So uh, they would place, uh, say, bonfires, um, you know, on the crossroads to guide wandering souls uh, on their way home. And they would leave out, you know, special uh, loaves of bread called uh, pavalki uh, to feed the souls. And also they would give uh, food to priests and beggars 
because they were said to be, you know, more um, in touch with the other side. And later on, the tradition kind of evolved a bit to the one we know today. And this is where, instead of lighting bonfires, candles uh, were placed on the graves. So for this year, I chose to uh, have a, you know, it's something I'm meant to do um, every year I was in Poland. And last year, because of COVID, everything was cancelled. So I missed my chance. But uh, this year I made sure to go. And so I went to the Pawonski Cemetery. Now, this is uh, actually the most famous cemetery in Poland, uh, established in 1790. Well, that is the old cemetery. Actually, Pawonski is a bit of a complex. You have, uh, you know, several different cemeteries kind of combined into one, as it were, but separated. So you have the Jewish cemetery, you have the, like, the Tartar cemetery. And one place I ended up was the military cemetery, which uh, goes back to 1912. And what you'll find is there will be all kinds of historical figures, uh, politicians, memorials, uh, film stars, all, um, you know, have their place here. And those people that, you know, don't choose to, to go back to their families will come here. And as you can see, it's quite a magical uh, sight. It's uh, going on all throughout the day and it truly is something to behold and something quite special for Poland. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Do zobaczenia.